Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here doing some more of the... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing some more of the tarot spread deck. We have the one that's by the black key. This is a little white droplet and then a black bear. So I'm going to go ahead and ring the bell. This will clear the space and the energy. Oh, oh the camera's already excited about that one. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and ring the bell in five, four, three, two, and one. This time in the box, it's actually a word. So it's a word that I really enjoy. So that's your little hint. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and slide these under here. The way this works, in case you're new to my channel, is this is actually a spread that we're going to do for you. And we're going to be using a tarot deck all of the links to the decks that I use are in my description box if you want further information on them. So this says, what part of myself am I ignoring slash denying right now? It's three cards. Why is it hidden? How can I express my hidden self? And what can I do to find my hidden self? So let's get started. All right. Since I didn't know, I don't know how many cards to pull. It's always pulled right then. What are you hiding from yourself, people who chose the key? Let's unlock you. That's really an interesting connection there. Because I always draw the the pieces or pull the charms out and then match them. Just put them down randomly. So it's kind of interesting that there's this part of you that's locked up. But let's go ahead and get some more clarity on that. And then if we need to um, clarify any other cards, we'll do that also. It's funny because I feel like since you're denying, cards aren't popping out very well. All right, there we go. Okay, so let me put these down. So, let's go with, what can I do to find my hidden self? the Empress. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. You know, it's really interesting because one of the things that I wanted to do is um, the very first deck that I designed was this one. And I remember hearing Bob Proctor. He said, if you can hold it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. Or you can hold it in your heart, you can hold it in your hand. And I remember when I was like, oh, you know what? Just order that first deck. See what it feels like. See what it's like to hold it in your hand. Oh my goodness. It was life changing. It's what I'm, it is my passion. It was incredible. So I feel like part of your hidden self, the way that you can do that by, is by giving birth to your dreams. Do something physically that creates your dream in your current reality. So even if you're like, designing like when I was designing the cards I was using a program I was filling that all in you know it came in pieces and I was downloaded how things came to me and how they they were organized so just get started let's see what uh, we'll do a clarifying card with what the energy is like for you right now like this is where you can find your hidden self but let's see what energy you already are in all right, so this is the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, which is the throat chakra. That means it's gone past your heart. So the creative process goes through the chakras. So you have your uh, root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra. And right now you're at the fifth chakra. So the fifth chakra is when you start speaking things into existence. When you start telling your friend, oh yeah, I'm going to start this YouTube channel. Oh, I'm going to sew this dress. Oh, I'm going to invent whatever. So the part of yourself that you're kind of uh, ignoring or blocking right now is the part of yourself that's ready to start creating your dreams. So how can you express your hidden self? 
the seven of cups, a complex decision, the need to do research and stop procrastinating. So the universe is like, you have an idea and you've been thinking about it. Let's see what energy we got here. Ah, oh, the magician, the mirror, the magician and the mirror. Hmm. So it's time. So you're, you're denying yourself the understanding that it's time to stop procrastinating. You have the idea. It's already been created. So why is it hidden? It's the eight of fire, which is events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, and many things happening at once. Oh, so let's see what the energy on that card is. Oh, this one popped right up. Walking away. Hmm. So I feel like it's hidden because there's part of you that's a little bit scared of being successful. There you have an idea. Oh yeah, see, so look at that. The camera wants, I would say the camera is being guided too. Everything about me is guided. So the camera's like, let's find out what's going on with the walk away. That's what I was like looking into. So uh, you already have an idea. Certainly get out of your own way. No joke. That's what this says. Your chosen path is your best, your best path. Oh, goodness. The part of yourself that you're denying or ignoring is your prosperous self. You have a, I feel like it's divine guidance, a path that you're supposed to go on. And you have all the peace. Let's find out. What are they afraid of? What, what is the, it feels like there's a fear. What's blocking them? That's the fear. Ah, oh, the world. A time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward and fortune is on your side. Don't be afraid of things moving fast. Don't be think. It's like over here, it was like things are moving quickly, things are moving quickly, and you're walking away. You're walking away from your own prosperity. So I feel like what's hidden from you is the fact that you got this. Your fear is what is keeping you from going in that prosperous direction. So go back into that. You can do it. Get out of your own way. That's perfect for you. So if you have something that you are, you've designed or you've come up with or you know, what your path is. I would love to hear more about it because I think it's interesting and I love to be encouraging to people when they're trying something new. So if you would like to find out what is in the box, please proceed to the end of the video. And thank you so much for stopping by. Please be sure to comment and like and subscribe so I can hear what is going on in your life. This is the reading for the people who chose the little white water droplet. It is encouragement from the angels. It has two parts. What makes my angels proud of me and what do the angels want me to know? Great. Right up. This is what makes the angels proud of me. And what do they want me to know? And we will do some clarifiers here as well. So let me find, I'm going to go, this is the um, Keeper of the Lights deck. I want to see who we got, who's, who's telling us these things. That's what your clarifies are going to be. Okay. So. For your first part, which is what makes my angels proud of me, we've got the Queen of Cups, tender hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition and care for yourself or others and others. And this is with, I do not want to pronounce something incorrectly, but I always try to give it a try. 
So I would say Kuthami, Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Basically, your angel's like, you have intuition. You're an empath. Trust it. Your angels are proud of you because you trust it. <laughs> Good job. The next one is, what do the angels want me to know? And this is release. This is Archangel Azrael. And this is the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, and time to move on. This is the death card in the Rider Wyatt deck. And the angel that would be assisting you with that will be Commander Ashtar. Call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. And walk your talk. Huh. It's really interesting because I think the hardest thing that people have with um, their death card moment is knowing that it's time to walk away. So I'm going to get one more. Have they walked away from the situation? Basically? Have they already walked away from the situation? No. It says, not now. Wait for divine timing. When the time is right, everything will fall into place. You have assistance, and they're encouraging you. You are going ahead in your journey. You're not stuck. They're there helping you. You have a very strong masculine um, presence with you. Divine, divine masculine. It's divine timing. Your angels are saying that everything is under control and that you're waiting and everything is okay. All is well. Thank you so much for taking part in that reading, being there energetically. I would love to hear if you have walked away since you've seen this or if you had already started walking away. I would really like to hear what's going on with that. Also, if you would like to know what is in the box, you can proceed to the end of the reading and or the, the video and you'll be able to find that there. Thank you so much and please like and subscribe and share. All right, this is the reading for the people number three who chose the black bear. This is a reading for emotions. How can I embrace my emotions? What do I need to do to get my emotions in check? And are my emotions warranted? So we're actually going to use two decks because we're going to use the yes, no, or maybe deck for that last question. And the other two, because they're energetic, we'll use the tarot cards. So let's get these out. And then we'll do some energetic uh, clarifiers too, since it's emotions, but we'll, let's do our already zooming in getting excited to share some information with you okay and then okay well how can I embrace my emotions if this is the eight of earth which is the eight of pentacles Skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school. It really feels like some of the th that you need to learn about your emotions. Hmm. Sometimes it feels like I, I, I got that feeling of being out of control, you know, when your emotions, when you just, you're like, I don't know why I'm crying. I don't know why I'm sad. Um... Your emotions are coming up and you need to study you. Ooh, there's, there we go. You need to study you. Hmm. Anxiety. Hmm. Sometimes when we um, have those anxiety moments, taking back the energy, I read this book and it said, I have respect for everything and fear of nothing. Anxiety is really a, a fearful energy. 
and see what we got. The next one is, what can I do to get my emotions in check? This is the Queen of Air, which is the Queen of Swords. Independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. Objective decision-making, clearing away what no longer serves you, and seeing the humor in a situation. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Energetically, we're the Queen of Air. Like, what, what do we need to know about that energy with the Queen of Air and how that fits for this group emotionally? So we got a oh, woman holding a heart. Oh, that was really loud. Woman holding a heart. Look at that differences. Okay, let's look at these. I'm going to set this up here for a second. This is two different spaces. This is very, um, one of these things is not like the other. The, um, Beings that look at these women like these have somebody these have something to offer this there's something to offer and anxiety anxiety causes us to get into a place where we are the only thing that matters and I can say that with some certainty because I have in the past lived with anxiety I didn't drive for like three years because I rolled a car over and I had some experiences in the the car that I was just like, oh, how am I gonna be able to? I can't I can't drive anymore. Flipping a car over is is very anxiety ridden, and that emotion really once I realized that I could have a respect for cars and know that cars could flip over, it didn't mean that I couldn't get in cars anymore. So then the next part is, are my emotions warranted? No, heck no. You know it's a bad idea. You can tell with your intuition that it won't work. Go a different route. Let's get some clarity on that. Hmm. Attachment. It's a little bit, there might be some attachment to being a victim. This is not an easy one to talk about. Stuff I've dealt with in shadow work. So sometimes there are things that happen to us that we really are a victim of. We have no control over. Psychologically though, when you recall an instance, let's say uh, someone stole my purse and I had the adrenaline and I had the fear and I had this feeling of being exposed. And every time I retell that story, my body creates the same chemicals that happened during that original situation. But you're not remembering when the purse originally got stolen, you're remembering the last time you told the story. So if this original instance happened where the purse got stolen, I tell the story, I am just building up the anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. Whereas here, going back to school, learning a new way to deal with this anxiety is going to put you here. It's going to give you some release from those attachments. I'm going to give you, I'm going to pull uh, one of the uh, keepers of light to see who wants to uh, help you with releasing some of the attachments to your anxiety. Who would like to help them with attaching, releasing the attachment to some of their anxiety? Okay, we got, oh, Almoria, Moria, Awakening Presence, the universe is with you, wear a cloak of protection and love. 
you might still be in the situation that created the anxiety. It could be something that is, you're attached to it because you're still attached to it. Like, this is still ongoing. Because if you look, she's chained to it. It's still ongoing in her life. Hmm. I'm sorry that you're having a hard time. I really feel it. It's really important to know, too, that emotions have a beginning and an end. When you're retelling that story and going back into that anxiety energy, that's where you're, you're just starting, 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 starting. You're telling your story again and again. I'm sitting with the energy for a moment to see if there's some insight. Let's... This is why I haven't used um, in these types of readings, but I feel like the moon might have some answers for you. So let's see. What can this person do to use the health of the moon to release some of that anxiety? can those people do who chose this group do to get rid of some of their anxiety? Hmm. New moon in Gemini, communication is the key. Well, and whenever the camera highlights it, I always pull the verification card. So, let's pull one more. This is the last card that we'll do. Clarification, like... When this person is communicating, what direction do they need to go with the communication? What do they need to know about the communication? Hmm. It says nothing will come of this situation. I feel like a little bit this situation is kind of in your head. This person hasn't hurt you again, but it hurt so much when it happened that you can't stop thinking about it. It's time to forgive. It's funny because this has been 22 minutes and 23 seconds. You've got two, two, two. There's love for you. I think this person hurt you a little bit and it's hard for you to look and see any kind of love in their actions. Hmm. This is on the bottom of the deck. What do you need to release? It's time to let go. It's for your benefit. I think sometimes we look at forgiveness when we're in a, in a place of pain. And we don't want to forgive that person because you're like, wait, you did something really crappy. And I don't want to give you forgiveness because if I give you forgiveness, I'm saying that what you did isn't a problem anymore. And that's not really the case. Forgiveness is something that it's like, hey, I have all these big, huge bags of stuff I'm carrying around. If I can forgive, my load is a lot lighter. I would love to hear what's going on in your life and if you have other readings that you want to have done or things that you think would be good topics. And now we're going to see what's in the box and what is in the box. We'll go down from three, two, and one. And the word is relaxation. I hope you find a way to relax today. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you again. Have a great day.